Hello everyone, it's your favorite Cinto Tech Jedi Lisa here, and this is a video in our installation and deployment series. In this video, we are going to talk about manual installation on Windows devices. So for manual installation, it's very, very straightforward and very easy. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you how to do that. From your Cinto portal, you want to go into the admin center, and from the admin center, you will then go down into downloads. Uh, you'll see here that this is where you can take the client, now you can put the client on a shared drive and open up on those devices. You can then um, also just log into your portal on that device, download this and run it. Um, and it will take you through the process of putting the client on there. It's going to ask you uh, a couple of prompts on there and then uh, it will be done. It will happen very, very quickly. So the other piece of information that you need for uh, manual installation is a, a license key. Now I have a, uh, that's right below downloads. I'm not opened it up within the portal because I did want to blank it out uh, so that you can't see my private license key. But when you go into license right below downloads, you'll see there that the license key, um, you'll want to download that. That is a text file. It just says license.key. And where you're going to put that within your uh, devices. So let's go to one of these devices that has a client on there, obviously. Um, we're showing it in the portal. From here, we're going to go uh, into the C drive. I could actually get there. <laughs> from C drive, you're going to go to program files. From program files, you're going to look for a folder called Renato, R-E-N-A-T-O. And here is Cinto.cloud. Now you want to copy and paste, drag and drop, uh, however you want to do that, that license.key file right there. Now make sure if you save it somewhere, it doesn't say license1.key, it doesn't rename it, it has to be license.key. And once you have dropped that in there, then it will take up to three to five minutes and it will show up in your portal um, over here in devices. When it is here in devices, because we did a manual installation, um, it hasn't been assigned to a site. So you will need to come in here and assign it to a site. You'll see here that it'll assign to none. That means it won't show up in the main portal. So what you want to do is come over here, select it and assign it to whatever site that it needs to be within. And then it will go ahead and assign it. And then you will be able to see it in the main portal. Make sure you watch the video about sites uh, so you can understand the importance of setting that up. And it will also talk about how to create a site ID that you can also put in there for mass deployment using those methods. Okay, that is how you install using the manual uh, method. I'll see you in the next video.